<laughs> I call this my, my cave. I'm in my cave. Bob Gavilio is a man fish fear the most. He's a teacher, a fisherman, a dream maker. I love this. A dangerous combination. Life comes through here. It's pretty cool. And it's uh, the people that are coming in here are all excited about things. I think it's good for people to do this. They're people in search of something to take their mind off everyday life. People will sit and work for lots of hours. And then they're all of a sudden they're, uh, you know, they were, they've got time that they want to go do something. They dream about doing this. For 22 years, I taught the advanced placement classes in uh, social sciences. Bob taught school and coached kids. I didn't want to retire from something. I wanted to continue on. So I tried to figure out, well, okay, if I'm going to retire from teaching, what would I do? Thought about it, and I thought, oh, I'll probably be working in a fly shop. So he started the Sun River Fly Shop. He never has retired, just changed careers. Sort of. <laughs> the secret is, smile a lot. <laughs> Bob is a man who helps guys who don't know how create memories. We all seek that. He makes you get into the park. You're going to lift your forearm like that. Stretch yourself a bit. It's just your wrist about 45 degree angle, and when you close it and shut it, it, it casts. Even if others laugh. Where's the love? <laughs> You'll like me when I'm catching dinner, young lady. Fly fishing is about adventure. I can remember the first reel I caught. Risk taking 101. And here we are just battling this fish down, and I don't even know how to play the line very well. It's you and that pole. Finally, I get this fish in, and I'll, I'll never forget that. That was one of my first fish. And those memories. It's amazing how many people will remember their first fishing trip. Bring your hand up, everything about it, and then just 45 degrees close. There you go. But they probably don't remember a whole lot about a lot of other things they did that year. So whatever it is, it stamps you. Bob knows how to make it easy. No big rules, just... Well, you're motivating people. And if you don't motivate people, well then, you know, they give things up. He wants you to enjoy what he's enjoyed for so many years. And we go places all over the world with fly fishing, and that's pretty cool. Every one of them is different, even if you do the same one twice, three, four, five times. He wants you to catch the bug and the fish to grab the fly. That's the connection that makes a fly fisherman. People's behavior can change when they move out into this stuff. Calms them down, they're more excited about things. They're not thinking about some of their other problems. No deadlines, no complaints, nothing. Just you and that fish. Somebody's teasing somebody, but I won't say who. <laughs> Bob understands something about people. He reads you. He knows when you walk into his shop that you need something. Something an old school teacher, a fly, and a pole can give you. You gotta stick that hook right in him. There you go. Got it. You got it. Very nice. Oh God, Very it. nice. Okay, no, just relax. Just relax. Let him fight around. Keep your rod tip up so he's bending the rod, and that's what tires him. Very nice. Very nice. Thanks, Bob. <laughs>